So my name is Brenda Merritt Mata, and uh, I've been in contact with Everett Housing Authority since about 2017, I believe. And um, I was in touch with them through uh, Second Chance Management. Well, I'm gonna just say it. Um, ever since Steve told me, don't tell anybody, but I think you and so-and-so would be a great fit for our condo. We only have two and one just became available. And I really think you guys would be a good fit for it. I believe in you. And I remember from that day on, I thought, man, I'm not gonna let him down. One of these days, I'm gonna tell my story of how this helped me. And, and you know, I told you that. I reached out on Facebook, anything I can do, you know. and. And I feel so blessed to be able to share my story because I've come so far in that housing, you know, and, and I went from feeling like I might die from post-op complications and because of having a safe, secure home environment to get care in, I was able to bounce back from that being nicotine free and being able to take state training to become a certified peer support specialist. And, you know, I've been unemployable since 2007, and I really believe that having a secure home got me to where I was finally employable again. One of the things I've learned about myself, and I've really been able to do a lot of forgiveness work around some of the things I always felt so ashamed and, and guilty about about myself, is that, um, being homeless creates a lot of barriers for people. And um, sometimes it's not your fault that things happen the way they do. Um, I remember trying to find jobs and I couldn't find a place to shower, you know. Um, I remember trying to eat healthy and all they were giving away is baked goods and bread. You know, um, and I had all kinds of natural food experience and, you know, um, education and, and um, I've learned that sometimes when people look a certain way, their experiences and stories and truths are something completely different than what they may look like. And um, I feel like uh, everybody should get a second chance. You know, I really, um, I loved the name of the Second Chance Management. When I saw that, just reading that name of the company gave me hope. And I thought, no, because I don't have any rental history, da 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 da, -da and all these barriers. And sure enough, they gave me a chance. And then you guys gave me a chance. And, um, it's just been a journey of blessings ever since, you know, and, and I honestly feel like the other thing I've learned is that everything in my life led up to this moment, you know. I honestly don't look back on regrets or remorse or anything at all on anything I've ever gone through. And, um, and I've also learned that um, having trauma-informed care that puts the person first is vital to mental health recovery and substance use disorder recovery and um, letting someone find their own inner wisdom and help them find their own choices and their own voices is really vital to their self-esteem and their self-worth and self-love to make sure that everyone knows that um, each person's interpretation of home is different you know, um, when when people go through and tear down tents and throw away garbage and stuff, that might be someone's treasure and that might be their definition of a safe, secure home. And um, it's heartbreaking to me to know, like, you know, for a long time, my safe sanctuary was the bus stops because they were lit all night long, you know? I mean, so you never know what somebody's safe, secure spot's gonna be. And um, my definition has definitely expanded over the years. And thanks to Everett Housing Authority, I can afford to live in a beautiful home now. So I volunteer on a world service level for an anonymous 12-step program for nicotine recovery. And um, I deal with people from all over the world, 24 hours a day I'm on call. And I give back in that way because that program helped me get and stay nicotine-free myself. And um, you know, I, I moved in 
to the condo and um, I think I had 30 days living there when I stopped smoking and I've been nicotine free ever since and I honestly don't think I could have achieved that being homeless I really don't and it's totally changed my health totally absolutely goodness so who's um I guess well, who's the farthest away person that you've talked to on the that you've helped I have know? a sponsee in India in India oh yeah <laughs> so India cool. Spain UK um uh, Mexico some in the U.S. more more outside the U.S. than in the U.S. and I, I talk to people I have a nicotine free worldwide whatsapp group that we have people from all over the world there Oh my gosh. It's great. It's, you know, no matter when you need help, there's always somebody up. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, how cool. Wow. Oh my gosh. I've definitely learned that together we can do what we cannot do alone. And, you know, Everett Housing Authority has helped me learn that on a really deep level. So, because of having home stability, I have been able to get and stay nicotine free. I've been able to um, go through three surgeries and have a safe home environment to have caregivers take care of me and deal with um, post-op complications that almost killed me and had a very safe environment to heal in. And um, I have so much peace of mind. Um, being homeless is extremely traumatic and um, to be really honest it took me almost four and a half years to get rid of my moving boxes and um, so being in my condo has provided me a feeling of safety and security that I haven't felt in a long long time. <laughs>